Okay. Where do they start from? Then where will these people start from? Eh? These people, they are not guilty of killing these soldiers. So what is their crime? The police should do their work of investigation and fish out the killers. Huh? They have helicopters, they have drones, they have information. Eh? Let them activate it and get the culprit and leave innocent people alone. My government, this can never happen. Anybody tells you that IPOB is the one killing people in our Luzon, it is not correct. Within a week, His Excellency, the only person that is being referred to the Excellency, anyway, that needs to be the movement to, aha. Uh -huh. So His Excellency Mr. Peter Obi was in Kogi for the kickoff of the campaign gubernatorial election that will be coming up in Kogi State sometime in November and the love was so massive, so massive, so massive you can see that the love was so massive but then, uh, that is not it, one of the gubernatorial candidates of the Labour Party in uh, in the forthcoming election, by election or we like call it offshore election um, complained about the insecurity in his home state and not just his home state as a state, but his home state like his local government, his constituency. And it's no other place but Imo State, which we all know. Imo State has been passing through some high level of insecurity in the last four years. Since the inception of Hope Osadema as the governor of Imo State, the insecurity of Imo State, you know, went from bad to worse. You can remember that there was a lot of discrepancies as to how the election was conducted sometime in 2019 where, I mean 2019, where the governor came toward, but the Supreme Court declared him the winner and he sparked a lot of reactions. But prior to that time, there were lot, some levels of insecurity. And after then, you know, it, it went from bad to worse. And here is what the governor said. But before I give you what the Labour Party candidate in Imo State is saying, but let's look at what the governor of Imo State in regards to the insecurity in Imo State as of today. If anybody tells you that IPOB is the one killing people in our Luzon, it is not correct. Wicked politicians are sponsoring the killings in our law. Last week in Oboruru, the APC ward chairman was killed in his house. The APC secretary was killed in his house. The APC woman leader was killed in his house. I have crossed since the inception of this banditry. Not one PDP man has died. Not one PDP man in his house has been attacked or burnt. So it is very clear to me that these people are after APC. I am sorry for those who will come in a very naked daylight and want to be after government. Only a weak government can allow that. It is my hope that the people who are doing this will use the period of Easter and they repent. If the now you've heard him that nobody from PDP has been confirmed dead. Or nobody from PDP died as a result of the insecurity going on in uh, Imo State. But then a woman leader was, was killed. So many things happening to APC. So the insecurity in um, Imo State is basically against the uh, ruling political party. As, you know, some people, some heavy political uh, heavyweights are supporting this insecurity or orchestrating this insecurity in Imo State. But you are the number one security officer in the state. Your party is the one in charge of the 
uh, security apparatus in the country. Your, 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 your party is in charge at the national, at the state level. So if there are some people sponsoring insecurity in your state, then it is left for you. If you cannot handle it in a state level, you call on the president to help you solve this insecurity in your state because it is a one-man show because APC is the president, APC are the senators, APC is the governor. So what are we talking about here? You let me blame us. So are you telling the people that the opposition are the one, you know, perpetuating this thing, but you cannot arrest them? Or what are you trying to say in essence here? Now, this is what happened uh, that led to the Labour Party candidate complaining about the insecurity in his hometown. The Nigerian military fighter jet was shot down somewhere in, the, in in Niger State, but there was no any reprisal attack. Many soldiers died as a result of that. But here in Imo State, there is a reprisal attack as some soldiers were killed. And look at this. What 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 is the meaning of this? They are supposed to be the protectors of life, not to kill, not to destroy lives. The essence of government. Protect lives and property. Ah, come on, this is wrong. This shouldn't happen at all. Sometimes you lead by example. This is wrong. Very, very wrong. In the midst of all the hunger, all the poverty, all the suffering. Where do they start from? Then where will these people start from? Eh? These people, they are not guilty of killing these soldiers. So what is their crime? The police should do their work of investigation and fish out the killers. Huh? They have helicopters, they have drones, they have information. Eh? Let them activate it and get the culprit and leave innocent people alone. My government, this can never happen. We we'll have vigilante in every local government in the country. We we'll equip police. Look at that place. It's not the police where these men were killed. It's the land I bought for to rebuild the human but not police station. Let me go and show you people the, the area command that was damaged that I rebuilt. It was dynamited, destroyed. So I repaired nine APC so that these men will not be killed. Their lives will be protected. Up till now, the commissioner of police has not been able to deliver them to me. I spent 100 million of my hard earned money. I don't have any security votes. Uh, I've been supporting police and civil defense and military over the years, the DSS, running them with vehicles. This is political. They want to make a human but not ungovernable because I'm from here. It's just politics. This is politics. Nothing else. These people are innocent, so that they will not say that this is the headquarters of a, 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 a IPOB, so that they will descend on us. Eh? The president should look into what is happening in Imo State. He shouldn't allow this to be happening.
that is what um the candidate of a labor party is saying concerning his hometown now it is now obvious to everyone that the, the way in which the security apparatus in nigeria take security issues in nigeria and treat them looks uh, like they are being biased in the way they treat or react to security issues in nigeria now why did i say so because i said earlier uh, that in niger state they shut down the jet of uh, the military and they bound it claim responsible for that you know uh issue what did the governor said what did the governor said? The governor said they should dialogue with the bandit. Is that not what the governor of Niger State said? But now, what did the governor of Imo State, what is he saying concerning the insecurity in uh, Imo State? He keeps saying that the opposition are sponsoring what is going on in Imo State. But then, here is a, a, um, a governor, a governorship candidate of a Labour Party saying that this is being done in his hometown. It's a peaceful place, but they are here now because it's political, because he is from that hometown and is contesting. So they want to make it look like this is the headquarter and put an eye on that place and restrict the number of people and the people that comes out to vote in that region. This is not acceptable at all. This 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 doesn't make any kind of sense at all. You know, for people to be behaving in such a manner. For a security uh, agency like the army, the NIA, the, the, the GSS and the rest, it is their responsibility to investigate and know who did this and go for them. The other day, they came out to say that the joint task force neutralized this, that and that, and they, you know, make public, uh, they make publicity of all the arrests they made and all of that. But then, what happened if some soldiers have been killed? What happened? Is it the peaceful people selling in their, in their, in their shops that you go ahead to destroy their shop? Were they the one that killed the soldiers? I don't understand. We did the one that killed. Okay, let's go to, to Northeast. Let's go to Boronu State, for example, now. In Boronu, there have been so many ambush in the Northeast. In Boronu, you will see soldiers go, you know, going to, uh, you know, to defeat the Boko Haram, to fight the Boko Haram, and they will be ambushed and killed. In a particular community, there have never been any time where they go back to attack those uh, community. Rather, they will strategize and go for the Boko Haram. You have declared that the IPOB uh, terrorist organization, so if you are at war with the IPOB and soldiers are being killed in a place that you call is an IPOB zone, why are you going after the community? Why destroying the property? Why destroying the, the you know the businesses, the market square of that community? Is it the community that is an IPOB? Is it the market, the people selling their business are IPOB? Is it not the same IPOB that is telling the people not to go to market on Monday to sit at home? So why, if you said they must go to work and not sit at home, why are you now destroying those people who don't want to sit at home but want to go to work just because some individuals who are trying to perpetuate evil in the land, you know, take out their evil plan and then you, instead of you going after them, you go after those people who are doing their normal businesses. It doesn't make any sense. And that is the reason why I said that these people are biased. These people are not doing the right thing. This Nigerian uh, police, Nigerian army, the DSS and the rest, they should have a rethink. They should have everything and with the desires. It looked like when something happened in the southeast, they take it more personal than when it happened in the north. And it is obvious to everyone. I think it's high time the people in this east come together, have an understanding, and have one voice and speak for their region to develop their region instead of continue to dilapidate, destroy, and reduce the, the, the region into nothing but a desolate state. Thank you for watching this uh, video this far. Please do wait to subscribe and hit the notification button you know, to get much more of our video. Share this video to reach a larger audience. Thank you.